Hi, my name is Travis Albra. I'm one of the founders of BookGlutton.com and today I'm going to show you how to use our new upload tools and how to share work with people that you're following on the site. The first thing you need to do is log in to BookGlutton. It only takes a second to sign up. It's free. So I'll just log in. Once you've logged in, the home page at BookLutton will refresh into an activity feed so that you can see what your friends have been doing. Click Upload in the upper navigation and it will show you the three ways you can import books. On the right there's a web import. It's really fast and easy and uh, depending on your source material you'll have varying levels of success. I've imported blogs, websites, books, uh, it's a pretty fast way to do it. Uh, we also have upload from your hard drive and you'll notice we've added EPUB to both of these now so you can actually upload a non-DRM EPUB file and read it and share it in BookLutton. And then at the bottom we have the BookLutton editor which we've had for some time. It allows you to really tweak your document um, to work on your table of contents and we, we kept that. Uh, it's a little more work than the other two but some people really like to be in control of how their document looks. <clears throat> so let's start with the web import. Uh, I'm going to go to Gutenberg and I've picked a book here called A Book of Fruits and Flowers and you'll notice there's an HTML and a zipped HTML file here. I'm going to start with just the straight HTML and it's going to take me to that book. I'm going to copy the URL. I'm just going to paste it in there and click import. Just takes a second to go grab that content and it's going to refresh. There it is, refreshed in the reader. Here's the title of our work. Uh, here's the author. I can tweak these things once I've previewed this in here. So I can flip through the book. Let's just go look at a page. I can move forward and back. Let's save and go back to book button here. You'll notice that when I roll over the title, the author, the first line, I can click on any of that since I'm the owner and edit it if I want. I can also go back and read it. It shows me who read this last. That's me. And there are also options for tagging and sharing the document. We'll come back to that in a minute. I'm going to go back to upload and you'll notice I can get to the things I've already uploaded from this page. There's a link to my uploads. You can also always do that under your account settings and that's where you would go to delete any uploads that you had. But let's upload something from our hard drive. I'm going to go back to this Gutenberg book and I'm going to download the zip file <clears throat> and then I'll go back to Book Glutton, browse my desktop, select it, upload it. Just takes a second and it's actually going to refresh me to the detail page. And from there I can go ahead and click read it. And you'll see this looks very similar to what I was looking at before but it was a zipped file from my desktop. Again, I can edit all this information, share it and tag it. Let's share this one. I click Edit Sharing and these are all the people that I'm following or, or who have, are connected to me through the site so I'm going to select some of them and next time they log in they'll have a message that I've shared something with them. So I'll go back to the book details here. It says I'm sharing with four people. Now if I go back to the upload tool again, uh, you'll notice that we've added this EPUB capability. EPUB is the new standard for publishing. We've provided a couple links for places that you can find out about where to get EPUBs. There's the EPUB Books blog. 
we provided a Google search that throws you right into listings for EPUBs. Uh, we also provided a link to feed books. They have really nicely formatted EPUB books. So I click on that and I select one. Here's Tale of Two Cities. I download the EPUB. I go back to the site. I browse. I upload it. I can edit this content if I need to. Again, I can share things. Let's read it. You'll see the title and the author. There's the cover. Notice these links work. And I can read the book. Here I can drag my way through the chapter itself. Table of contents works. So I can read this EPUB in the browser really easily and share it. Now let's say I didn't just want to share it with a couple friends, uh, which I've shown you you can do with edit sharing. Let's say you want to share it with a group of people. Perhaps you want to start a reading group and you want to manage your stuff that way. The first thing I need to do is have a group to share it with. So let's go create one. I go to groups in the upper nav. It shows me popular groups I can join, but there's also a button to create a group. So let's create a group. The name of my group, people who read. Sounds good. Describe it. Um, obviously people who like to read I can invite friends I can type in people I I know and ask them to come and sign up for book glutton but to keep things simple and fast I'm just going to invite people that I'm already connected to on the book glutton site I'm going to create the group these people will get an email telling them they've been invited they can click through you notice I can message the group once they've all joined. So it doesn't show any members yet because they haven't had time to accept. I also haven't shared any books with this group. So let's share one of my uploads with the group. I'm going to go to Upload, and I'm going to go to My Uploads. You'll see the book I just uploaded, the EPUB. Let's share this, and you'll notice the group tab is right next to the people tab so let's click groups and let's select one of these groups now I'm sharing this book with this group and I'm also going to share it with one friend so that individual can look at it and that group can access it so when those people accept the invitation of my group they will have access to that until I choose to either remove that access here or go to account uploads and remove that book. I can always delete that book. There are a couple ways I can get to this kind of content. Account is always a, a listing of, of all the features you need to, to adjust settings on, but also the upload is a real easy way to get to those sorts of things. So in a nutshell, those are the new upload and sharing features for Book Glutton. I hope you can try it out and we're always looking for feedback. So we have a support forums in our main nav that uh, you're welcome to post comments and questions to. I look forward to seeing what you